Well, the rise of the Golden Knights in the hockey world has been amazing to see. Yeah, there was one family in town who had the vision, the crystal ball, if you will, to see that hockey would not only work, but thrive here in Las Vegas. And Ron Futrell is here with exclusive video showing us the birth of hockey in Las Vegas. Christiane and Patrick, here we go. It was almost five years ago, 2013, when the Malou family had their vision to bring the NHL to the desert. Now, we told you recently about their first meeting with Gary Bettman of the NHL. Well, tonight, for icebreaker, we dig a little deeper with this never-before-seen video of the Maloofs discussing their vision. And right here, and right here to our left, you'll see the spot for the new arena. In the video, you see Gavin Maloof cruising southbound on I-15 and pointing out where the new arena would soon break ground. The arena was Bettman's number one concern before he would put hockey in Vegas. The first thing that, that he was looking at is, is there gonna be a venue a first-class NHL-ready venue in Las Vegas, which there was just under construction, T-Mobile Arena. Now, more of this video shows Joe and Gavin Maloof sharing their vision of the NHL coming to town. It's incredible. It sure is. The future of hockey in Las Vegas starts right here. This is the perfect location in the perfect city. This is one of the top five destinations in the world for foot traffic, 40 million visitors, 17% are Canadian, and we have an arena that is just two blocks off of the Strip. By November 2014, as this headline indicates, the Maloofs had indeed been selected by the NHL to head the ownership group, and a short time later, they joined with Bill Foley to complete the deal. A deal that I think we can all pretty much agree has worked out well for Las Vegas. Well, to be honest with you, I thought that We'd actually win about 10 to 20 games this year. Most people thought that. that yeah, I mean, the projections of all the all the so-called experts for us. Yeah, even the experts <laughs> and, and and a lot of the the experts didn't. Nobody envisioned this. I mean, this is, just came out of left field. For so many years living in this community, we've had to root for everybody else's team. We've had to root for the other hockey teams, maybe for the Kings or the Coyotes or the Red Wings, wh whomever it is, whichever team it is. But we've never had our own team. We wanted our own team. And the people in this community deserved our own team. That's why I felt that, that this would be a home, uh, I thought it'd be a home run, but now it's a grand slam. <laughs> a grand slam, or maybe even, maybe even a hat, hat trick, trick as well. Okay, game three, Saturday in D.C. Okay, a couple of Knights wives I want to show you here with their little boys down on the boards for the pregame skate. Oh. oh, now do you like this? This is nice, okay? Oh. The, the, the little boys, Vegas born, these kids, okay? Pierre Edward Belmar. And Luca Spiza both take some time then during the pregame skate to hang out with their family and tap on the glass. You'll see the other pictures coming up here. There, there's oh, Pierre, there you go. Edward Belmar with his little boy. Hannah Belmar holding up their son and Lauren Spiza holding up their little guy. Yes, so it's sort of fun to see Daddy, that. No, I, I'm down there doing the pregame skate and I see this, I get my cell phone out. Of I say, course. Gotta, you. Come on, that's near and dear to your heart right now. Absolutely. Yes. We, we, we put her in her, her Golden Knights onesie all the time. They've got them. Okay, <laughs> Every they, game. they've got them now. But truly, Vegas born right around the holidays for these two little boys here in town. Oh, wow. So cute. I mean, how much fun has this been? This has been <laughs> incredible and it's, it's a family affair. Everything about this has just been so Las Vegas, but just more bluntly, so awesome. Well, I'll, I'll quote Gavin Maloof. Grand Slam, we'll go there. Yeah. No, <laughs> right. no, it has been, and there were no guarantees when they started no. thinking about this five years ago. There were no guarantees that it, they could get a team, that it would work here, that it would happen, and that it would be as successful as it has been. It shocked everybody. A, a pleasant surprise. I'll say that one, too. A fun, very fun surprise. Grand Slam or Stanley yes. Cup. We'll, we'll take whatever. <laughs> uh, stay with this for the